in this example so this is a ram ram module ran, uh, random access memory that we are going to verify with the help of layered test bench approach that is uh, that is a key verification approach nowadays in all industry okay so you see here this is your duty okay duty is your rtl okay that you're going to verify okay so this rtl uh, and this is the rtl which is having some input port and output port so this is a driver module okay so the objective of this driver module is to force the data and the control signal inside this duty right now this duty will take that uh, this duty will sample those input and con input signals and process the data and process the data according to that after processing the data this duty will give you an output at the output monitor okay so this is a general flow now after getting an output output monitor will just pass the transaction to the scoreboard and checker module the objective of this scoreboard and checker module is to compare what is the actual what is actual output you are getting from output monitor and what is the expected output that you are getting from input monitor okay so it will cross compare both the things and based on that it will give you the results whether your duty is working fine or not okay so that uh, that is uh, scoreboard or checker will tell whether your result is valid or not okay monitor is simply going to tap the bus and monitor what is going on the physical side at input and at the output side okay now you see the driver uh, responsibility as i told you before itself the objective of driver module is to create a tra is to force the transaction inside the duty okay now but we have not given the responsibility of uh, to the driver to create a transaction okay so what we did what we have done here instead of giving that responsibility to driver module we have given that responsibility to a higher layer that is you can say that tx gen so this is a generator module this module will create a transaction for this driver module okay so here at this step you can randomize your transaction you can use directed testing whatever you want to do you can do that thing uh, in generator module okay so that is the objective of generator module now coming to test case module so there is one test case module so the objective of this test case module is to uh, write uh, different uh, different scenarios generate uh, give different different scenarios so what test case will it will pass some constraints or it will give some uh, constraints so that tx gen generator module will generate transaction according to those constraints okay in which you are looking for uh, in in which area you are looking for okay similarly base object so in uh, in system where log <coughs> we have seen a concept of inheritance okay what people will do people will create a base class okay so after from that base class that is very generic in nature they will create a derived class okay so that derived class is having all the features what are available in the base class but you can add some extra features also in that uh, derived class right so that is what they are doing so base class is a generic class so just you define that class once and after that just instantiate that class and use it so these whole all the modules whatever you are seeing in that uh, diagram all those module are instantiated in a environment class okay so it's uh, it's not uh, like this driver is a class this tx gen is a class base object is a class input monitor is a class output monitor is a class so these are all classes so you are going to instantiate these all classes in a one cl uh, top model that is a program block okay so those all classes you are going to instantiate you may implement those things as a model but uh, then you can't use the power of system verlog so it's better you create each and every block as a class and just insta instantiate those things in a top module or you can say that environment class environment is the full thing so now one more thing you can see here how much burden is there on verification engineer right in order to automate a process for just one single dut okay how many modules we are writing one two three four five six seven one top one interface so
so near about nine modules in order to verify a single DUT. So how much complexity is there in verification? You can see from this figure itself. So this is uh, the layer test bench approach that they have used for RAM module. Now we'll see uh, one by